One thing I love about Ghana and Nigeria is that regardless the bad state of their team, once Nigeria is about to face Ghana, Nigerians are 100% sure that they can beat Ghana. And once Ghana is going to beat Nigeria, no matter how worse the team is, a Ghanaian fan will still believe that we will beat Nigeria. <laughs> DJ Parkour Okay, guys, so welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Parkour Rich, and I know you are smiling just because <laughs> of the caption of this video. But indeed, it is what it is. What is meant to happen will definitely happen. My name is Mazi. Like my Lagos friends, they call me, well, some see me and they call me Eze. I respect that. Some they call me Otumba because I always live like what? Some they call me Siriki, 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 Siriki. And I have no option that to respond to these beautiful names and hills and all that. <laughs> so today I have some great news for you. And I'm actually going to give you some comments out there. It's quite interesting to know that finally... Nigeria is about to play Ghana in a friendly match. Yes. You know, Ghana and Nigeria, when it comes to football, the conversations and the banters and the trolls and all that is amazing. And I mean, it brings some kind of excitement on the internet. It brings some live wildness and activeness. Regardless the state of every team, the other wants to beat the other one. And I mean, it's normal, you know, for two brothers to always, you know, be at, you know, that level. But then, um, it's officially, it's been official, uh, it has been announced officially, forgive me, that Nigeria is going to play um, Ghana Black Stars on the 22nd of March. Yes, this month, later this month, uh, yes. Uh, and then they will play Bali on the 26th as well. And so this is what we are all looking out for, their anticipation behind. Somebody will, will say, after, you know, Ghana trolling Nigeria for losing to Ivory Coast in the AFCON finals, uh, can Ghana prove themselves that now don't go and hide behind Ivory Coast. Come and tell us what you can do. Come and face the second best team in Africa since, you know, Nigeria became second at the Africa. Come and face us. Now it's not Ivory Coast. It is me and you. Just me and you. And so this is what we are all expecting. Uh, this is a match. I don't know where it's going to be played, but obviously uh, I'm not sure it's going to be Nigeria or Ghana. Maybe it's maybe one of these, you know, countries out there. But if it happens to be in Ghana, definitely I'll be in the stadium. And if it happens to be in Nigeria, uh, I will see what I can do. But if, uh, the exciting news is that uh, that will be a difficult decision for me to make uh, because I'm a Gaja. When they say a Gaja, a Gaja is somebody who is a Ghanaian and who is a Nigerian. And so when I have to support my fatherland or I have to support my motherland, yes, I can only say that the best team should win. And I'm not going to forgive anybody that lose. I go take give you woto 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 woto. The trolley there, you definitely have to take it. Yes, it is football. It is football, and it is nothing else. Yes, and so we are looking out for this match. The starting eleven uh, has been outdoored, and, and it looks very interested. I'm sure you have seen it in my community post. It's also posted on the Super Eagles official Facebook handle. And so you can go and check up the lineup there. It is very, very, very interesting. You know, they have all the best players in Nigeria represented. And, uh, you know, that match, people really, they look out for. People really, they look out for that match. Wow. But I got to side to, to see Kudos coming face to face with uh, Victor, that would be an exciting, you know, uh, moment. Charlie, I can't wait for this match. And I will rush to the comment section of the Super Eagles, you know, official page. Blackstar, I don't think I've posted it yet. Uh, so I would read it, but you can read. The 
messages coming from Super Eagles is very positive. I mean, the fans in the comment section, uh, you go like, good luck, uh, Super Eagles. It will be a great win for Super Eagles. I see you have. Then I saw a reply under that post that I definitely, I know it's coming from a guardian. And it goes like, in your dreams. <laughs> One thing I love about Ghana and Nigeria is that regardless the bad state of their team, once Nigeria is about to face Ghana, Nigerians are 100% sure that they can beat Ghana. And once Ghana is going to beat Nigeria, no matter how worse the team is, a Ghanaian fan will still believe that we will beat Nigeria. And so until we meet on the 90 minutes of field of play, where we go see say, who be bad or who they yap. And so the comment section there on the Super Eagles page there, it's getting, getting, getting excited. Uh, this is coming from Franklin, Jamaica. Good luck, guys. Super, we go. Eagles, we fly most high. Uh, good luck, Nigeria is our fatherland. That is coming from a guardian. Good luck to Super Eagles. Uh, I mean, uh, good luck, good luck in the comment section is so much, and I'm sure because Nigeria once had a president called Good Luck Jonathan, we have seen a lot of, you know, positive words coming from Nigerian fans to the team, regardless of what happened. The interesting thing is that both teams, the Black Stars and Super Eagles, do not have coach. So just imagine, two people were where be old fans, where did they come <laughs> battle? Then, but they don't get papa. Yes, when I say papa, we say they don't have coach. You understand? And so just see a comment. I saw a comment from Peter uh, in Nigeria say, beautiful squad with no coach yet. I'm glad to see some new faces there. Yes, 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 yes. And so, guys, I can't wait for this match, Ghana and Nigeria. Also, Nigeria will be playing Mali, and I'm sure that will be a great encounter. Uh, people go love them. People go also love watch. But before I end my entire video, there is something I would like to share to the Ghanaian authorities. They are just garrison us too much. The embarrassing is getting too much. Yes. Ghana would always go out there to brag that we have 100% light. We have light, blah, 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 blah. How can you disgrace us? Yesterday, there was a football match between Ethiopian ladies, the women's football team, and the, the Ghana black princess. And then in the midst of the match, there was light out, which is very, very embarrassing. <laughs> Especially when we are going to uh, have international encounters like this, it's quite embarrassing to, to, to get Ethiopia on the field of play and the light goes off. I don't know what it is about Ethiopia people, they are light and all the stuff. But I still feel this is embarrassing. And so authorities have to investigate whoever was in charge that sat down for the light to go off. Heads should definitely rule and then people should be punished. My name is DJ Parker Rich. You can call me Marzi. Let me know what you feel about the clash between Ghana and Nigeria on 22nd March. What are your predictions? What are your expectations? What do you want to see in the field of play? My name is Marzi. My name is Parker Rich. And take you. Let me see you in the comment section. I love you. DJ Paco Rich.